Hey, ladies and gents, this is IsDaWiz coming to you with a review of Mythic Legion's Snag, the nasty little goblin figure. Snag. Here's the bio. Snag. Notoriously sneaky and mischievous, goblins are often reviled or simply dismissed. Being ignored by the masses delights the goblin thief Snag and is one of his greatest advantages. Snag's skill at stealthily skulking around and keeping himself to whatever he, or, and helping himself to whatever he desires keeps him perpetually amused and has won him great favor with King Noglin. All right. So, a lot of people looking forward to this guy. And I have a disclaimer before I get into the review. I opened the accessory bag and just kind of ripped it out, ripped it open in such a way that some of the accessories went flying through the air and landed in um, bins with other accessories in them. So I'm not sure I have all of the accessories that came with him. Okay. Um, I, I don't know what it is that's, that he stole, um, but I'm sure you can check, um, on somebody else's snag review if you want to double check to make sure I got them all. He has a horn and another horn. So two, uh, basically a set of antlers that he stole from somebody. I don't know if they came off their helmet, but obviously these are compatible with other figures and that's kind of cool because um, it's nice to have an extra set of antlers. Maybe he just went to somebody's house and uh, to amuse himself he popped them off a trophy that was hanging on a wall. Who knows? Then there's this horn which I also believe came with him. Um, it's a bull horn but there's only one of these so I don't know if it came with two or not. Then there are the leather or you know rubber um, belts don't know if all three of these belong to him one of them belongs to him i can't really say then he has this sword which is just a standard you know long sword um we've seen before nothing particularly special about that one same with this which is the shorter version of the sword which is you know, another weapon that maybe he snagged, got a five-finger discount on. Then there's this um, dagger, which I also believe uh, belongs to him. Um, for, obviously, after you snag somebody, you might need to stab them in the back. Um, it's got this uh, groove in the center. I believe that's so when you stab somebody, the blood can flow out freely told you snag was nasty and then you know the same uh, wing adapters although i don't know who would put wings on this guy because he is not very angelic as you can tell from his face take a look at those beady yellow eyes and the long nose and one more weapon, which I forgot to tell you, but this, um, it looks like an antler with um, some spiky metal bits attached to it. It looks very nasty. There's all sorts of grooves and and um, looks like some sort of blade that was attached. Very nicely done. Nice wash on the antler, um, you know, and nice detail work on the rivets and just... Uh, weapon that suits him to a T. He also has two pauldrons that are mismatched because I figure, you know, this guy's is always constantly stealing something. So um, the mismatched pauldrons serve him well as he may have stolen or appropriated them from someone else. Um, other nice little details of his design. The um, wash on this um, leather um, belt is really nice and looks really realistic. And then we have here um, folds. 
I think that's what they're called. I'm not sure. Um, protective sort of leather armor. Really nicely um, detailed. And every single rivet is painted expertly. So he, he, he's got that going on. He's got this um, torso from the Advent of Decay. The, the skinnier um, male torso. And he's got from long arms and short legs which gives him sort of this gangly sort of knuckle dragging type of look but it's very cool um i really like it and i like the diversity as far as the size is concerned and then there's this um armor with these um, spikes on the back of his uh feet so he's you know got the armored um, legs and he's just awesome head to toe um, let me, especially the face. I mean, what a lot of character. Look at the furrowed brow and just the sneer and the nasty little sharp teeth. Each one, you know, um, very detailed. And then the chin and the long ears and then this cap, which is very reminiscent of the, um, Dungeons and Dragons character. Each stitch here is painted as well perfectly on the cap. So he's up to he's, he's skullduggery in that particular um, cap. Everything about him just sort of screams um, evil, nastiness, and mischief. Um, I know a lot of people are quite fond of the um, goblins. A lot of people have been very excited about this one in particular. And I don't think that it'll disappoint anyone in any way. So um, the, the armor and the leather pants and everything, um, the bracers, it's, from he it's, it's covered in a nice wash. So it's, a, you know, kind of like grimy and, and lived in. So let me, he, he needs to be a spry little fellow so he can, you know, go around stealing things and running away. So he's got all the articulation he needs to do that. He's got the, you know, full range on the legs. He's got the swivel at the mid thigh. He's got the swivel and hinge at the knee, obviously, of course. Um, he has the um, swivel and hinge and rocker at the ankle and then he's got you know full range of motion on his arms because his pauldrons are soft and they allow him to raise his hands um great range of motion on the ball jointed head um elbow and then swivel at the mid forearm and then swivel and hinge at the hand so that is Snag. Best goblin, I have to say, I've ever seen in action figure form. And uh, up until, uh, 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 except for maybe this guy. This guy does give him some uh, run for the money. It's the Marvel Legends Green Goblin. Um, but I know some people are going to probably put this guy in their Spider-Man display and and appropriate it because it's just a natural it's just a natural thing to have there and uh obviously they all have they uh, let's see if he fits yeah all you need to do is get him a pumpkin and then you have a really really cool uh goblin for uh to battle your spider-man as well just a pump pumpkin bomb so um trying to think if maybe um we can make a spider-man out of mythic legions maybe a maybe a red knight huh and then you can have spider-man versus his greatest nemesis green goblin this is a nice figure um it, it, this i think body has been used a couple of times on other figures uh that marvel has put out via hasbro um, so I think the Black Knight, um, which plays well, is going to play well with the Mythic Legions figures. 
and then that there was another night um paladin maybe um that was a comic-con exclusive and um love that so anyway um green goblin um and snag a nice team and this has got me very excited about opening up the other goblins but this one is very very unique and has a lot of character and um in my opinion is a must get sorry about the accessories flying everywhere and me not be able to tell you exactly which ones um belong to him because I, I i i uh got all the accessories mixed up anyway is the wiz signing out